HTTP and HTTPS. What? What is that? Oh my God. Do you need it? Well, stay tuned in this video. I'm going to let you guys know if you do or if you don't and how to make sure you can always have it on all your websites. So what's up guys, Gene Hack is here. So effectively, supposedly July 2018, Google Chrome already has done this because we are in 2019, uh, the time they're watching this and the time of me recording this, we're in the year 2019, all right? So if your website has an HTTP, let's say http.genehackers.com, if someone were to go to my website, Google is going to display this um, not secure website, meaning that people are probably not going to trust whatever they see on my website. And that's not good. That's really bad for business. So how can you fix this? And look, I'm going to show you guys an another report. Uh, I was just browsing. Just to show you guys proof, look, this is recently, last updated June 14, 2019. Google is forcing you to switch to HTTPS by October or lose ranking. And what is that? Let me move my browser down so you guys can see. So HTTPS and HTTP is this right here. You see right here it says HTTPS. SEO hacker or if you go to Facebook you see Facebook also has HTTPS and it has the little lock saying connection is secure now what happens when you don't have HTTPS it says not secure and it gives you this connection is not private now this is where it could hurt your business really bad because people are going to think that, hey, this website is not secure. This is probably a hacker's website. They're trying to steal my information. And then you're not going to be able to sell if you're selling something or educate somebody. If you're trying to educate somebody or just, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to show on your website, they're not going to see it because they're going to press that, that X button like right now, instantly, right away. Uh, the only way they can go to the website is if they actually um, click on proceed to uh, the website, it is unsafe. And if they go over there, well, it's going to work. Okay? But guess what? You're in luck. Yes, I'm here to save you guys. Well, not really me, but the platform that I use and that you guys probably know, right? Builderall, that is what I use for all my online business purposes. So with Builderall, if I were to uh, buy a domain from Namecheap, all right, I can also buy it from Builderall, but I already, I'm accustomed to buy it from Namecheap and I get also awesome deals for, and I buy domains really cheap from Namecheap because they have coupons and all. So I buy all my domains on Namecheap. Uh, maybe I should throw a link down here so you guys can go check it out. Uh, it is an affiliate link, but I don't earn so much, but hey, if you're going to get it from somewhere, why not get it from me, right? <laughs> Same thing with Builderall. There'll be a link so you guys can check out Builderall. And I'll do you guys an awesome solid. I'll give you guys seven days, okay? Because if you go to Builderall.com, you're going to have to pay instantly right there and then. But since, you know, your boy Gene Hack is here, I'll hook you up with seven days free. Just seven. That's it. That's all you get because that's all you need. I mean, you just need one day and you're good to go. All right, so back to, to the main point. So as you see right here, uh, I have this domain, Builderall Baby. Well, webinar.builderallbaby. So this is a subdomain. But whether it's a regular domain or a subdomain, I can make it HTTPS. Now, normally, 
uh, if you were to buy a domain from any website uh, domain uh, place like GoDaddy or Namecheap you usually sometimes they do give it to you free or for a certain amount of times but most of the times you do have to pay for HTTPS on your domain but you guys have Builderall well those of you that do and if you don't that's why I'm here to tell you you should get it you're able to actually activate HTTPS to all the domains that you connect uh, to your builder account so I bought it with Namecheap and then I connected right I forwarded um, I forgot what it's called can't think of the top of my head um, but yeah I connected well when I went to publish I published it and I was disconnect domain but I connected it it says right here disactivate deactivate SSL so I'm not gonna deactivate it because I need it but let's say if I wanted this one I can do activate SSL and that means that I will have an HTTPS on my domain so if I go to uh, this builder all then if I scroll let me move this down if you guys see right here it says connection is secure so I have an HTTPS so that means that Google is not gonna penalize me it's not gonna affect my ranking uh, whenever people are when I'm are searching for I don't know maybe build their own webinar or whatever website I'm trying to rank on Google uh, on the search engines they're not gonna penalize me and they're not gonna bring me down to like the 50th or 100th page of Google right and thanks to build all and the SEO uh, capabilities that it has I can rank most of my websites on page one or two mostly uh, from all the people that I know when they rank the websites because of builder all they rank it on page number one all right now um, there's not much to tell there's no tutorial because it's that simple just connect your domain uh, when you connect the domain it's really simple with builder all uh, you can name your domain right here let's say uh, duh, 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 webinar but let's call it uh, domain dot builder all and I were to go save then it tells me how to call oh, there you go the CNN records so this is what I would need to put on my on my name cheap okay and then that's it I'm good to go and I save it and my domain will be connected with no problems and then I would be able to select uh, activate SSL all right so HTTPS guys get all your websites on the secure HTTPS but definitely make sure you guys do that make sure you get builder on connect your domain and activate HTTPS or in this case activate uh, SSL all right all right guys take care see you guys later peace